Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. Uh, last class we have seen rank transformation and we have given here uh, top 200. So we got uh, in descending order of salary 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's see uh, what happens if I put bottom uh, rank here. Uh, so we should uh, still uh, get 107 records but the rank, the order in which uh, the records are ranked would change. Uh, so let's see that. So this is still running because it has to rank all the records. It has to basically sort all the records by salary and then give assign the rank. So it needs to wait till all the records come to the transformation. So it completed, let's see now, employees. So now, uh, you see the bottom most salary is assigned the rank 1 and so on. So it uh, is in the increasing order of the salary. The ranks are assigned as 1, 2, 3, 4 and all that. So that is nothing but if I remove this uh, descending then I get the same thing using Oracle query, SQL query also. Uh, so either you can rank from top to bottom or bottom to top uh, you can give the first rank to the bottom most salary or the top most salary. So that is the use of this property. Now let's see one more variation of the rank uh, transformation which is uh, this one. So uh, rank within a department. Uh, I have uh, 12 departments. So first department I want to sort uh, based on uh, salary and then all the employees with 10, department number 10 I want to sort based on salary and assigned rank 1 to n. Again, uh, uh, department number 20, I want to as again start from 1 and uh, assign 1 to n. So suppose I uh, in department number 10, I have uh, uh, n number of records. So my ranks will go as 1 to n. Again, in department number, number 20, again 1 to some, this is n10 and this is n20, etc. So uh, let's see uh, how to do that. I simply come to my rank transformation uh, rank transformation properties here and uh, I select so I select the rank transformation here and uh, I do group by department ID port and uh, let's see I've left it as bottom 200 so now it should get ranked within department in the order of ascending order of the salary so let's see uh, let's run this and see now start task and so again this has to now sort first based on department then within that it has to sort based on salary from the ascending order and then allocate the ranks so it will take little time so let's see completed uh, if you see the employees uh, let's see how it looks so uh, we got department ID 10, uh, 8, 80 here to start with. So let me do uh, department uh, order by select star from employees order by department ID comma rank. We'll see how this looks. So uh, department 10, uh, there is only one rank because there is only one employee. Department number, number 20. There are two employees, it is, they are ranked based on salary department number uh, 30. There are uh, more employees and each of them are ranked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so, and so on. So finally, if we rank to the bottom, so department number, uh, department is null here, so it is 1. So department number 110 also is ranked based on salary by S1 and 2. So let's quickly check if uh, I change this to top instead of bottom what is going to happen so I'm going to save this and refresh the mapping here and uh, save this again to make this valid and I will run this again and see how it goes so this time also it should get ranked within the department except uh, the top uh, salaried employee will get rank 1 within that department so let's see that so we'll see here uh, run properties and uh, how it ranks uh, so 107 got loaded so let me run the same query again now so now 
you see in department 10 again there is only one uh, employee and it got one so department number 20 the one rank went to the highest salaried employee then to the lower salaried employee so basically the order in which the ranking is done it changed uh, this time so rank uh, so uh, how can we do this in database uh, whatever we have done in informatica this time so let's uh, see here i just need to add one more clause uh, partition by department id partition by e dot department id order by uh, e dot salary uh, from hr dot employees so we can exactly see uh, it gave one and uh, it gave exactly the uh, uh, in the ascending order of the salary within the department it ranked uh, so the first case we have done in after uh, when we have done group by department so if i give here descending it will change uh, the rank to first rank will go to the top salaried person within the department 13000 in case of department number 20 so uh, if uh, there are uh, same uh, salaries uh, what is going to happen let's see that so it it gave uh, in department number 50 we have uh, uh, same salary for multiple people so here 3600 and 3600 and both of them are ranked as 11 so if we make this 10 and 11 is and 12 is skipped and directly it went to 13 so if we make uh, this dense rank now this will uh, give uh, even though it gave 11 11 it uh, didn't skip 12 so that is dense rank so that is not available in the informatica so uh, in the next class, we will see one more transformation. Thank